Hey guys, it's All Things Disney, and today I will be showing you how to create this cute little stitch charm. And he is absolutely adorable, and he's not that hard too, so he's really cute and is just so fun. Um, he has really cute little ears, and just such a cute body, and he's part of my Tidbits series. And you can make Lilo as well to go with Stitch. They can go together, and they're both really cute together, especially... Um, you can find Lilo already on my channel, so you can check her out already. And Stitch, of course, I will be showing you how to make him today, so you can have both together. And I also wanted to mention that I think for my next video I will be making this Mal charm from Descendants. So I just wanted to give you a little preview so that you can see what's coming up. So I don't know if I will be editing her anymore um, than I have here, but I think I should be making one that is this or at least is similar to this for the tutorial so either way getting back on track with Lilo and Stitch I will be showing you how to make Stitch today so now let's get on to the supplies you will need to create him so the colors you will need to create Stitch are you're going to need five main colors you will be needing seven navy and these are all just estimates of how many you need they may be a little more than you actually need but yeah so you're going to need seven navy blue and I'm using the navy blue from the Sweet Blue Paradise mixed collection. Then you will be needing about eight Caribbean green bands or whatever color you want for the stomach and the bottom part of the face. You can also use turquoise or any other light shade of green. Then you will need two black bands for the eyes and then you will also need about six pink bands for each of the ears, not six per ear even though I made it sound like six per ear, it's just three per ear. And then you will finally also be needing about 44 ocean blue for the main part of the body, and I'm using the ocean blue opaque today, but you can also use any other um, shade of blue. You can go a little darker than this, but I thought that ocean blue worked fine, but if you don't have ocean blue, you can always substitute with something else. And by the way, the Caribbean green bands are from the Pearl Collection. You can also use any other shade, like I said before. So now you can grab your bands, and then we'll get on to the other supplies. You'll also be needing one rainbow loom and one rainbow loom hook. And the rainbow loom should be set up in the staggered configuration with the red arrow facing down or towards you. So now you can grab all of your supplies, and we can finally get ready to actually make stitch. So we're going to start out by making the head, and then we will make the ears, and then we'll go on to the body. But we're going to start with the head, so let's take, um, you're going to use one of your ocean blue or body color bands and place them going down from the top peg to the one underneath it in the center. Then you can take double of your body bands, and this doesn't have to be blue, you can always make them in any color and let your imagination soar and just go wild with the colors, because who says you have to make stitch? You can make Angel, which is a pink version of Stitch, pretty much. So you can really go and get creative with this. So I'm just going to go diagonally with my blues, go diagonally down to the left side, and then the same for the right side. Then I'm going to go down once on each side, including the center. So these are all double of your skin color, or I should say body color bands. So I'm just going to go down once with double bands on each of the sides and once in the center, like that. So now we are going to take another set of double ocean blue or um, body color bands and just go down once in the center, but then on each of the sides we're going to take double of our Caribbean green or turquoise bands and go diagonally from the left side diagonally in, and then the same for the right side, like that. So now we have the face done. So now we're going to add on the eyes. So all we're going to do is we're just going to um, we're going to take out our hooks, and you're just going to want to take one black band and twist it around the tip of your hook. Whoops! Twist it around the tip of your hook three times, creating four loops. Then squish it down, and we're going to do the same again. So twist one band around the tip of your hook three times, creating four loops like that. Now we are going to take one blue band, place it on the tip of your hook, and slide on all the loops. Put 
like that, and I missed one. Okay, so it should look like this. And then we're going to stretch this band from the far left side on the third peg down from the top on the left to the one on the right. So we're going to, now we are just going to separate the eyes like that, then take the top part of the band and bring it up to the center like that. Now we can move on to the ears. So you're going to want to move down to the bottom of your loom, or it doesn't have to be the exact bottom, but anywhere under the head, just make sure it's not touching the head, and we're going to make our two ears. So we're going to start by taking one ocean blue band, and you're just going to place it going diagonally down from the right side to the center, anywhere on your loom like that. Then we're going to double this over itself once, so it, we, now we have a doubled single band. Then we're going to do the same one more time, going diagonally from the center to the left. And the, these are going diagonally down to the left, so you should create this kind of like diagonal line. And you're just going to double over that one as well. So now you have these two doubled over bands going diagonally down to the left. So with that done, we are going to um, add on the pink inside the ears which I don't think I mentioned before, but this is the pink from the Skin Tone pack, and I just wanted to use some of these pinky fair skin colors. So I'm going to place it going down once from the diagonal right here, as you can see, and then I'm just going to double it over itself like we did with the ears, or the top part of the ears, I should say. So it should look like this. Then we're going to do the same in the center. Just double it over once in pink, like that. And then on the ends, though, we're going to use navy blue. So then you just place it and double it over, like this. So now we have our ears. And if you made my Lumpy or Dumbo tutorial or elephant, um, you would know this kind of technique, that you would be familiar with this, because this is the same ears as my elephant or lumpy or dumbo. Um, it's just tighter. So now we're going to take another pink band and you're going to stretch it from one peg to the one um, above it. I should say the one from the left to the one on the right going diagonally up outlining the bottom of the ear. Then you're going to take the bottom part of the band and bring it up to the center peg like that. Now we're going to take out our hooks and we're just going to hook this up. So I'm going to start in the center and grab that pink band that's doubled over and bring it up. Then on the side I'm going to go in and grab that navy blue band and bring it up. Then on the other side I'm going to go in and grab the pink band and bring that one up. Like that. Then I will just go under the far left side and grab the bottom um, ocean blue band and bring that diagonally to the right and then go under the next set go under everything and grab the next set of um, blue ocean blue bands and bring those diagonally in like that so it should look like this now then with your hook you're just going to go under everything on this last peg and you're going to take one of your ocean blue bands and you're just going to place it on your hook and then pull it through everything make sure you have everything and then reclaim it back onto your hook like that. Then you can just take this off your loom. You can use your hook like that and it should look like this. It's a little odd looking but you will need to kind of stretch it out and adjust it and we can fix this big floppy um, band later. So don't worry about that. We can add that or not really add that but fix that later. So now since we've made it going diagonally to the left, we're going to place it on the right. So you want the blue, or the navy blue, to be furthest away from you, and then you're just going to take this out onto your fingers and place it on that side. And don't worry if your ear looks all messy like this. Like I said, we can fix that later. Now we're going to make the other ear. So it's the same thing. You just go to anywhere on your loom, and you're just going to double over one ocean blue band and go diagonally down but this time from the left down to the center then do the same from the center to the left um, down to the right and I don't know if that sounded confusing the center down to the left to the right to the right but like 
facing the left side, which is, it is kind of confusing how I said that. Um, but now you're going to take another pink band, place it down, and then double it over on the left side. Then do the same in the center. But then for the right side, we're going to use our navy blue band and just double it over like that. Then we're going to take another pink band and we're going to stretch it across and then take the bottom part and bring it up to the middle like that. Same thing as the other ear. Then we're going to start hooking it up. So go in the center and grab that pink band. Then on each of the sides, just go in and bring that band right up. Make sure you're um, ignoring or just not picking up the middle band right here. Just ignore that, go under it, and then just keep bringing the bottom ones up like that and then go in start on the right side bring the bottom um, blue band in diagonally to the center and then go in on the center and grab that bottom blue band and bring that diagonally to the other side like that so it should be like this and when you're hooking the top remember to start on the right side and then go up so now you should have that done, and we're like we did before, just go under everything with your hook, and then we're going to grab that one blue band and pull it through everything, bring it back over onto your hook, and then just take your ear off. So now it should also look pretty odd. You can stretch it out, make sure that it's facing the right way, but we can really fix it later. So now you're just going to take it off onto your fingers and place it on the opposite side on the second peg down from the top, like that. So now we have our two ears there. Now moving on to the easy body, we're just going to place the bands because the ears are probably the hardest part, but other than that, there's nothing really that hard here. So now we can move on. So we're going to place double blue bands and just go down once and these would be the body color blue bands just go down once in the center then we're going to go down diagonally to the left side with double of our blue bands then we're going to do the same going diagonally to the other side to the right side and then we're going to go down two times on each side with double bands but not in the center yet because we are going to make the center bands Caribbean green or turquoise, whatever you have. So now in the center, we're going to go down two times with our Caribbean green bands. Like that. So now we have our center and sides of the body complete. Now we can add on our triangle band, so we're just going to make a triangle right here, which would be the sixth peg down from the top on the left of the center and the right sides. And then you're also going to make one underneath that, but then we're going to take the bottom part of that triangle and bring it up to the center like that. Then we are just simply going to add on the arms and the legs, which are both the same thing. So you're going to take out your hook and we're going to twist one navy blue band around the tip of your hook. We're just going to twist it around three times, creating four loops like that. Then we can just take double ocean blue bands, place them on the tip of your hook, and then slide on the loops. Then bring both ends back over like that, and then place this. For the arms, you're going to place it on the fifth peg down from the top on both sides. And then for the legs, you're going to place it on the um, seventh peg down from the top on both sides. And for the leg, you're just going to push every band down and then place it above the bands we have there. So I'm going to show you how to make one of the legs, which is the same thing. So take another navy blue band and twist it around the tip of your hook three times, creating four loops like that. And then you can just take double of your blue bands. Place them on the tip of your hook as well, and then slide on the cap band. Then bring both ends back onto your hook, and grab them in your fingers and place that on the seventh peg down from the top for the foot.
So now you're going to make two more of these, which I'll go make on my own so that I don't waste too much time because those are kind of time consuming, but they're easy. So um, you can go make two more, one for the arm and one for the foot, and I'll be right back. So now your loom should look like this with your two feet and two arms already on, and you can pause the video to make them, and you just make the other two if you haven't made them already. So now we have everything complete, except for the nose, but we will add that on later, so don't worry about that. So now you can take out your hook, and we can start the hooking process. So we're going to start in the middle and grab those middle two Caribbean green, or whatever color you used in the middle bands, and bring them up. Then do the same for the next set like that. Then we are just going to go on the sides and go under the feet and the triangle band. Make sure you're going under everything. Grab only the bottom two ocean blue bands and bring them up. Then go under the next triangle band and bring the bottom two bands up. Then go under the arm and grab the bottom two bands and bring those up. Or I should say diagonally into the center like that. Then we're going to do the same on the other side, so go under everything on the bottom and bring the bottom two bands up. Then go in the triangle band and bring the bottom two up. Then go under the arm and bring the bottom two up, or in, diagonally, like that. So now we have our completed body, and it should look like this. Next, we're going to move up to the neck, so we're going to go under everything and grab only the bottom two neck bands, like that, and then we're going to grab go in and grab the top two um, Caribbean green bands and bring those diagonally to the right, then go back in and grab the next two, bring those diagonally, then before we grab the last two, take your hook out and twist one navy blue band around the tip of your hook, that last navy blue band twist around three times, creating four loops. Then just leave it on your hook and then grab those bottom two or last two bands, but before you bring them up, just slide on the loops like that. Then you're going to bring those bands up and you can kind of see the face forming now. You see the two eyes and the nose. Next, we're just going to continue in the middle and bring the bottom two up like that, and then we're going to do the same on the side, so go under the triangle band and bring the bottom two up. Then where the ear is, just go under the ear and bring the bottom two up. Like that, and then we're going to go under the side, bring the bottom two up. Like that, go under the triangle band, make sure you're doing that. Then go under the ear and grab the bottom two bands and bring them diagonally in. So now we have our completed stitch body, and it should look like this. Now we're going to hook up that last um, band, just go under everything and bring that last one up like that. Then you can just go from the outside, grab that bottom blue band, bring it up and over the peg, and then just tighten it like that. Now you can take your stitch off the loom. Like that. Then I'm just going to move my loom aside, and now we have our stitch. So let's focus on him. You can stretch him out and fix him however you like. You can put the feet facing out or down, um, whatever your preference is. Then we have everything done. And now we're going to get to the ears because your ears may not be the, right, the way you want them to be. I definitely know that mine don't look very nice right now. So first I'm just going to hide the slipknot band, so I'm going to go through some bands in the back with my hook and just grab that slipknot band and pull it through. Like that. Then on the sides with the ears, I'm just going to go through the back. I'm just going to go through some bands on the ears, and I'm going to pull this like loop, this pink loop, in because it's just kind of random and I don't like it, so I'm just going to go through a pink band in the ear and just pull the extra loop through, therefore hiding it like that. So now that ear is fine, and I'm going to do the other one. 
So again, I have this little like pink part sticking out, so all I'm going to do to fix that is go through um, some bands in the back. They can be pink or blue bands, it doesn't matter. You're just going to go through and then pull that pink band through if yours is like mine. Like that. So now we have our two ears. And I also think that my top navy needs to be a little bit more controlled, so I'm just going to go through and pull the navy through as well. Like that. So now I have my ears good. You can kind of tilt them a little, rotate them. You can make them down or up. However you like them, you can continue to stretch out the pinks, whatever you want, but I am fine with this for now because I don't want to do too much right now. So then you have your stitch. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.